Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a good Friday. It's June 5th. Um, and I'm here with a tropical weather briefing and a severe weather briefing. Uh, cause we're gonna be seeing some pretty active severe weather this weekend. Um, we have two enhanced risk days and today we do have a slight risk. Um, but, uh, yes, please subscribe, uh, leave a like and comment. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So today we do have a slight risk in Missouri, Arkansas, northern, northern Louisiana, Northwestern Mississippi, Western Tennessee. Um, we have that slight risk. Uh, tornado threat today, according to the SPC, is pretty low. Wind threat is 15%, and hail threat is 5%. Um, so we have that slight risk today. Um, but then tomorrow, I think it's going to get active. Tomorrow's the day I've been watching for a while. Uh, we have an enhanced risk across South Dakota, a little bit of Nebraska now, and also Southern North Dakota and Northeastern Colorado. Um, we also have a slight risk in Montana going all the way down to Colorado right there. Um, uh, yes, uh, tomorrow tornado threat threat is only 5%, which I slightly disagree with. I think it should be a little higher than 5%, um, but uh, yeah, so this is the SPC's forecast, not mine. Um, wind threat is 30% um, and significant tomorrow, and hail threat is 15% significant and enhanced risk. Um, I think tomorrow might be our biggest severe weather day. Tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday might be our biggest severe weather day. Probably, I don't even know how long, but our biggest, like, probably tornado day. I think there's going to be some potentially interesting, interesting tornadoes tomorrow. Um, the SBC has not talked about an upgrade at all in their uh, text down here. Um, so, I, I mean, that kind of leads me to think they're not going to upgrade it to a moderate risk. Uh, at the 1.30 p.m. update, but if they do upgrade it to a more moderate risk, we're going to have another severe weather briefing out today because it is a moderate risk, but, but it's not a moderate risk yet. They might upgrade it, though. Um, now, before we actually get on to what's going to happen, uh, let's look at Sunday's forecast. The SPC has issued an enhanced risk for northern, northern South Dakota, North Dakota, and northwestern Minnesota, um, 30% significant already, so already kind of up there. Um, now let's look at today. We do have that slight risk. So I just want to talk about the, what, what we could be seeing today. Um, by this afternoon and around 6 p.m., we, we could be seeing some storms coming off in western Illinois, southeastern Iowa, northeastern Missouri. We also will have some storms in northern Arkansas that kind of get going into a line with some damaging winds. We also have another lineup in Missouri. It's not going to be widespread, but we could see some kind of lines, like many little squall lines go off of each other, like that. Um, so we could be seeing a few of those today. Um, we do have pretty high Cape today. This is our Cape for today. Um, we have northeastern Arkansas, 5,000, 5,000 across much of Missouri, almost 6,000 in north of Kansas City. Um, so we got plenty of Cape today. Um, let's go Berkshire today. Let's see if we have any, I know, I, I'm kind of, I don't think we're going to see any big, Thirty tornadoes today. You could see one to two, but I don't think it's going to be a big threat today. Um, and yeah, it's kind of agree. I guess it's kind of agrees with me. Um, we have only bulk shear of around twenty-three knots, and so nothing really big. Um, no, not really much uh, turning as you go up in the atmosphere. Um, winds. So I don't think we're going to see a big tornado threat today. Um, but now let's talk about Saturday and Sunday. So. We're going to be looking at the NAM 3-kilometer model for Saturday, um, and then the NAM model for Sunday. Okay, so this, so this is Saturday, kind of early afternoon. Um, we have we have kind of some storms up in North Dakota going all the way down to South Dakota, maybe some embedded supercells with large hail in them. And at this time, I wouldn't be surprised if we have a tornado, but I don't think the tornado threat's big at around 15Z. I think around 18Z to 21Z, it's going to start to ramp up. We could see some super high base supercells. In southeastern Wyoming to kind of the Colorado area. Um, we still have some kind of storms being left over in Nebraska, South Dakota, and North Dakota from the morning. Um, but by zero zero z, we have some new new storms forming kind of right along the Nebraska, South Dakota state line. Um, and some of these might be supercells. That one right there looks like one, and that one right there even has a hook on it, kind of. Um, but 
Um, if we can get supercells, there's enough shear. I think they're going to produce tornadoes. And some of these tornadoes could be strong. Um, they may not hit anything because it's South Dakota that's pretty unpopulated um, in some areas. Um, but so Sunday, but by Sunday, kind of the afternoon, or later that night, later Saturday night, we have a large squall line in eastern South Dakota. Um, it's a North Dakota right there. Um, then by Sunday morning, that out boundary um, that'll move on we have our low pressure up in north dakota that'll go on to kind of minneapolis probably sub severe by 12z though which is seven about around 7 a.m in the morning but in the afternoon uh, let's switch to the nam model for this um but uh actually we're gonna look at cape first because we're gonna talk about saturday before we actually go on to sunday yet um all right so cape on saturday is kind of it's a narrow area of Cape. We see we have a narrow area of 5,000 plus, around 5,000 Cape going all the way up to a little bit of southern South Dakota. But in South Dakota, we do have widespread 1,500 to maybe even a little bit more in isolated areas, which kind of just depends. Um, and also, let's look at bulk shear. So bulk shear is uh, kind of high of this. Look at this, this bulk shear though. Okay, we got an almost 90 knots, almost 105 knots in Wyoming right there. This 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 big wave of it moves up into Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska. I think the highest new potential is going to be in this area here. Maybe I think we could see maybe a few tornadoes in uh, North Dakota and Minnesota, but I don't think they're going to be strong or long lived. Um, all right, now let's look at helicity, storm relative helicity. This is important also. All right, so we go out to Saturday afternoon, and it's, uh, we still have that area that kind of explodes of 800 Helicity, 900 right there, 1,000 Helicity up in North Dakota. Um, so we, look at that. We have 1,000 Helicity in South Dakota. We have 1,100 right there. So we have plenty of Helicity at this event. Um, now, the last thing we're going to look at for Saturday is Super Cell Composite, and we're going to take a sounding for some areas. Um, so let's go to Saturday afternoon, of course. Look at this. We still have a pretty high super single positive of 51 um, in there. Uh, so pretty high, pretty high. Um, 53, right? At 53. And it peaks kind of in this area. So I think we're going to see a high super cell potential in southern South Dakota, maybe northern Nebraska also. Um, you could even see some super cells in our slight risk. Um, so yeah, now let's take a, uh, let's take a sound in. Stick a sounding for kind of Rapid City. All right, so sounding for Rapid City, nice cape. You have a look at the shear, okay? At 850, winds are out of the south. At 1,000, when or surface winds are out of the southeast, and up in the around 700 are out of the southwest. That's pretty good. Uh, dew point is 6 to 7, temperature 81. We don't have much capping going on, which is good. Um, we do want a little bit of CIN though, because that's that's good for supercells because we don't have too much storms blowing the cap or getting up there. So we don't want too much storms going up. Um, but definitely a pretty good sounding. You got shear. Look at a surface of three kilometers, 62 knots of shear. Okay, surface to one kilometer kind of sucks, but it's pretty good shear in the upper levels and mid levels. Um, tornado threat or what well, possible hazard type is tornado. Um, the hoodie graph looks decent. Um, I think it's sounding for south, southern South Dakota where we could be seeing some. Uh, well, this is where that this is where we had that thin strand of extreme cape or of, of extreme capping. So I know this probably we couldn't really get supercells going up in that cabin. That's a little bit too strong. If we do, they're going to be kind of not even really going to look kind of not going to get tall. All right. Now this is a little bit further to the west where we have a supercell on positive 54.5. SDP is 11.5, CAPE is decent, 71 and 77. Now, this CIN here, they could potentially break it. It's probably going to kind of hinder with how tall the storms actually get, but if they could possibly break it. Um, and uh, see, the wind shear is pretty strong. We have better low level shear, plus a plasma type tornado. Um, let's see if we can find a, a PDS tornado sounding. Probably can't. I'm not going to look for one, though, because they really don't mean anything. 
Um, but that is, uh, this is Saturday, alright? Now let's move on to Sunday, because Sunday is also going to be a big day. We're probably going to have a live stream for severe weather and a tropical storm. A uh, tropical storm, first of all, which we're going to talk about in a second. Alright, I guess let's go ahead and look at Super Sun Deposit for Sunday. Um, okay, there we go. So Sunday we actually have a lot of Super Sun Deposit going all the way up into Minnesota right there in North Dakota. We actually got almost as much as Saturday. Um, I'll take a bulk shear. I'm sorry if my if I'm kind of like uh, my voice is kind of or my I put my throat kind of hurts this morning because I just woke up and I had any water or anything so I'm sorry about that. Um, but okay, bulk shear is a little it's a little less but it's it's still really high. It's still really good. 58 and it's over a wide area of North Dakota and Minnesota in our enhanced risk. Um, so we got helicity. Let's get that the load. All right, there we go. So helicity, helicity is. Pretty good. Look at that. We got another little area of 500. Minnesota right there. We got 700, almost a thousand again. So yeah, we definitely got a lot of folks to do with this also. Um, what else can we look at? Um, let's look at the uh, lifted index, which I'm, probably, I'm pretty sure lift is going to be enough for some pretty good storms. But let's look here. Yeah, lifted index is a little on the high side, negative 13. So pretty good. Um, and then sun, Saturday or Sunday. We have lifted index across a wide area of negative 11 to negative 12, negative 13. All right. Uh, now I want to take some soundings. Let's take a sounding for Bismarck here. Severe sounding. Wind shear is actually not bad, but it kind of sucks because the winds aren't. Well, it, it kind of. Yeah, surface solenometer kind of sucks. Uh, surface of 3 kilometers is decent. But look at the upper level. Surface 8 kilometers is 75 knots. Um, we do, have that, we do have that slight capping going on over Bismarck. So what I want to see when I want, when I look at supercells is I want to see MLCIN of negative 30 to negative 80. We have negative 65 in Bismarck. Um, so that is good enough for supercells. So we could get some supercell development. Um, so we've got southeastern North Dakota here. All right, we have 6,000 Cape supercell composite of 34.5. It's a tornado sound. And we also got that. We, got, we also got good CIN. So Sunday might also be a supercell day where we could see some pretty, pretty, pretty decent tornadoes. Um, got pretty good shear. Yeah, that, we have a good or, or a decent cap, 75 degree dew point, a ton of cape. Um, so pretty, it's pretty good sounding. Um, let's do Minnesota here. Tornado sounding also. It's pretty much the same as Bismarck, all the supercell positive higher. Lapse rates are good. Shear, it's pretty high. So I think we. Look at that. Effective layer SDP of CIN, probability of EF2 plus. Oh, it's already out. It's on it's 11. That is pretty high. All right. Um, let me see. Um, where else can we take a sound? Let's take a sound for northern South Dakota because you could also see some severe surface. So, tornado sounding. Uh, we got good shear. Actually, pretty, pretty high shear. Um, so. I think it's Sunday is going to be almost as big as a day as Saturday. Let's see if what the NAM model is saying about like initiation. Is seeing if we're going to, let's see what it's saying about storm mode before we switch on to the tropics. Uh, storm mode Sunday is going to likely be. We'll probably won't even have any initiation until later on in the day. We could see some isolated supercells in that area. Probably maybe up towards uh, Bismarck. By later in the day, we can see some supercells kind of in this area. But I don't, actually don't think the NAM model is doing a good job with this. I think, I mean, if, if, if this was actually true, the SBC is probably looking at uh, ingredients and not what the forecast of reflectivity because forecast of reflectivity it doesn't even, sometimes it's, sometimes it's completely wrong. It shows that nothing is actually there, but all the ingredients are there. The same model, or the model says all the ingredients are there for something to pop or form. Like a supercell, but then it doesn't actually show anything popping up. So I think this one might be one of those scenarios because the man model is not really showing much. But later in the afternoon, well, showing, they are showing some isolated supercells, but uh, nothing like a QCLS or anything, or anything big. Um, now let's move on to the tropics. Um, we're not going to be looking at the tropics too much today. We're going to be looking at them just a little bit. Um, so. Right now, tropical storm or tropical depression, Cristobal, is at 35 miles per hour. It's in Mexico right now. 
Uh, Tropical Storm Watch just had been issued for a little bit of the, the a little bit of Mexico right there. Um, we do have it's forecasted to become a tropical storm by early tomorrow morning. It's forecasted to be a tropical storm uh, once it makes uh, or at 1 a.m. Monday. It's forecasted to make landfall in Louisiana. Then it's going to be a depression move up north um, as a week as a week tropical or as a as a week storm. Um, yeah, so we're probably going to have a stream Sunday because the rain bands are going to be hitting uh, Louisiana, and I think we're going to be seeing some supercells Sunday. Um, so I think we're going to be, uh, and maybe some tornadoes Sunday. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to be um, probably having a live stream Saturday and Sunday. Um, so yes, it's going to be pretty fun. Um, let's look at wind speed probabilities. Um, this, or the, the National Hurricane Center does have areas of Louisiana now a 40 to 50 percent chance to see tropical storm force wind speed. Prob- wind speed. Um, See arrival time of winds. Arrival time of winds. This is the earliest around 8 a.m. Sunday. Um, let's look at most likely is Sunday at 8 p.m. Yeah, that's when we're gonna have the stream going on. So it'll be fun. We're probably gonna start at the 8 p.m. Sunday, and we're probably gonna start tomorrow's stream at like 4 p.m. depending on how when we have the storms actually initiated. Um, then let's look at U.S. rainfall potential. Um, six to ten inches in areas of Louisiana and Mississippi. So a lot of rainfall. Two to four in this darker green color and then one to two in this color here um so lots of uh rain of this uh, but that'll wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it uh please subscribe leave a like and comment um like find the comments um and yes peace out